Hi Noble Knitters! Today we're going to learn how to knit the seed stitch. It's a beautiful textured stitch that just uses knit and purl. Today I'll be using a worsted weight yarn which is a number four in the Craft Yarn Council and a pair of size eight needles. To make our seed stitch swatch we're going to cast on a multiple of two stitches plus one stitch at the end to make our swatch. So I'm going to cast on 15 stitches to make the swatch today. I'm using the long tail cast on to put the stitches on my needle today. In fact, I've included a link to a tutorial that I did a couple years ago on how to do the long tail cast on. So give it a try if you'd like, but use whatever cast on method works best for you today. Now we're ready to begin our first row and we're going to start with a knit stitch. Then we're going to work purl one, knit one, all the way across the row. And what I really love about this stitch is the entire pattern the is the same row over and over again. Knit one stitch, then purl one, knit one, and repeat Purl one, knit one, all the way across the row. So as you can see here, when I'm going to knit, my yarn is in the back of my work. And then when I'm purl, the yarn is in the front of the work. And you just keep alternating these two stitches and moving your yarn from back to front or front to back all the way across the row. Okay, we've finished our first row. Now we're going to turn our work and knit the exact same thing for the second row. We're going to knit the first stitch, then we're going to purl one, knit one, all the way across the row. So purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, until you're done. One of the things you'll want to remember in <clears throat> seed stitch is that you knit the purls and you purl the knits. So if you get stuck in a row, you're going to take a look at your work and you'll know by looking at it whether you should knit or purl. In fact, in a minute, I'm going to show you, I'll lay it flat and show you how to tell the difference between the knit and purl stitches. Now let's do the same thing for the next row. But one of the things you might be noticing while you're watching this video is how I hold my needles. I use what's called the continental method and it allows me to move slow, uh, smoother and quicker than I would if I were doing just the traditional wrap method. So if you want, you can check out the video that I've linked above on how to knit faster using the continental method. Uh, whatever method you like is fine but I just want to show you that there are other options. Now as we're finishing up this row, you're going to start to see the texture is really showing up on your, on your knitting. Look at all these little bumps and, and texture. It's really pretty. Uh, now I want you to see the difference between the knit and purl stitches. I'm pointing out all those little bumps are purls. So then you'll know if you don't have a bump, that's a knit, and the bumps are purls. My swatch is a square, so now we're ready to bind off. And I like to bind off in the established pattern rather than uh, in knit. So I knit the first stitch, then I purl the next stitch. Now I take the first stitch over. Now it's time to knit and take that stitch over. And you'll just keep alternating the knit and purl stitches. Uh, might get a little confusing, but it keeps it in the established pattern and it gives you a much nicer finished edge if you're knitting a scarf or a shawl. You can use this seed stitch for so many projects. So now we're down to our last stitch on our bind off row. So we trim it leaving about a four inch tail and then you're just going to take that uh, tail and pull it through the loop that was on your needle. And uh, tighten it up 
and then you'll be weaving in the yarn ends. And now you have your beautiful seed stitch swatch and you'll see it looks gorgeous on either the front or the back of your work. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up below. Thanks for watching.